Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? I was playing with the computer the other day in the CAD program and just designing a sculpture. And then, of course, I can take it out of the CAD program and I can take it to the printer, to, to my 3D printer, and print it out. That's great if that's all the big that you want. You know, but like me, I want to use this as a maquette and blow it out. Let's make it bigger. You know. So how do you how do you translate this curve? You know, that shape, this hump, you know, this twist. How do you translate all of that to a piece of steel? You know, so your pattern will be right. So you'll have the right amount of metal to make that twist where you can make all this come out and work right. And I thought, I know, I'll cheat. So I thought, why don't I just take some of that blue painter's tape? You know, it sticks, but it's not really, really hard. It doesn't leave a residue behind it, so you're not going to gunk up the, the plastic or anything. And just take the tape and just fill in the whole, the whole side, if you will. Follow that seam. And then just come in with a Sharpie and mark it. You know, so you, you can just run that Sharpie right down that seam. So there's the start of it. So just, you know, keep running the tape up, overlap the sides a little. You'll have to tear it a little, you know, to make it fit, to make it fit down in that, in that uh, curve right in there, but just making sure it's all flat and all, you know, no air bubbles or anything, and then just trace it out. So this is just a, a, a sheet of newsprint. I picked it up at one of the local papers. They had, you know, quarter, you know, the, a quarter left on the whole roll, so it's too small to run a new run, you know, make a new run with, so they were just going to donate it. You give it to the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, you know, uh, nursery, you know, places for the kids to play with. So I managed to get a roll of this. You tear off a little piece, and you can just throw your, your tape down on there, cut out your lines, and now you've got a pattern. So yes, I cheated and did it all already. So here's the piece. You know, that this would... fit right down in there, and that gives me my shape. So now I know I need to cut out that weird looking thing to put it up against the next, up against the next piece, and up against the next, and the next, and the next. And then I'll have you know, at least a scale, uh, I'll have a, you know, a, a full scale to this size that I can then make out of metal. But how do you scale it up to make it giant? You come back with a compass. You know, you can get some that hold, you know, like this, this has a piece of soapstone for working on steel, but you can also put a pencil in here. I mean, one of the flat uh, construction pencils, your know, carpenter's pencils, fits right up inside there. Perfect. And then all I would do is just kind of open that up a little and just follow my edge. Follow it all the way around. Get the bottom, follow it around, you know, back up the other side, and I could scale it up from there. You know, go out, well, about as far as this compass will work, make a pattern, make a paper pattern. Then I can always take that piece, turn it sideways on a nice long sheet of paper, come back and do it again, scale it up some more. They do have, uh, they do have other tools for doing this with. I just don't have one, you know, at this point in time. But that's how I would scale it up, scale it up, scale it up, you know, get it to whatever size I wanted. Or at least get it close enough that then I could just lay this, you know, fairly big sheet of paper on a piece of steel and then go back to my soapstone and trace it up that way, right onto my steel. You know, cheating. Just, just cheating. So, yeah, these are still pretty rough. You know, I, I just did them the other day. This is as far as I got at the moment. But 
This is what happens when you scale it up even bigger. So now this would wind up coming in here. And that would be one side, you know, and then another side and another, and you just keep adding to it, scale it up, you know, and this will be about a four foot version. From this, I could bump it up to eight feet. And then who knows? <laughs> make it 12, make it big. So there's your little trick for the day. You want to transfer, you know, something from a scale up to something bigger. Try some tape, try some blue tape on a piece of paper. Now you have a pattern. Scale it up from there. Uh, you can also do it in a computer if you have the right software. You can scale them up from there and then literally print out the pattern with the lining marks, you know, that come right on it, and then you just tape it all together, and then you got a great big piece all, all that way. So I'm going to go back to playing, I mean working, and you're going to go right down there and push that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.